My name is Lois Broad. I'm the old Broad. <laughs> I grew up on High Park Avenue at the corner of Glen Lake. I was right on the corner on 107 High Park. Uh, Robert McMichael, you know McMichael Gallery up Esserton? He lives up just below Humberside, which is the first block up from Glen Lake. And I think I was in grade nine and he was in grade 13. So I didn't really know him, but I, I knew of him because he, he and his brother were the first kids that bought an old car and drove up and down High Park Avenue in the old car, you know what kids did. The next time I heard of him, he had rented an empty store up in the junction on Dundas and he hired the immigrant women that lived in that area, and he packaged, you know how you have a package of uh, crackers for your soup? Two crackers? He started that up on the junction, have, have these women package that. Now, he quit that because I guess he wanted other things, but eventually he made all his money in packaging. Also, uh, <laughs> uh, he went into wedding photography. Now, I was married in 1949, and Robert McMichael took my wedding pictures. And I think I'm probably the only one that's still alive <laughs> that, that Robert McMichael took my wedding pictures. And when I go up to McMichael Gallery, I tell the, the staff, and they're very pleased because they've never heard of anybody that he took their wedding pictures. Robert and his wife did not have children, but they were interested in art and they started buying it. They bought a group of seven pictures. Anyway, they, they gradually got so many pictures that Eventually, the insurance was too much on the pictures, and that's why they had to turn it over to the Ontario government. But then the Ontario government didn't want to just have it for the group of seven, so there was quite a bit of controversy at that time about uh, whether they would be allowed to expand, and obviously have, because there's a lot of, a lot of other stuff there now. <laughs>